businesses in Queensland are the answer to the future of rebuilding our state's economy. And they have been absolutely devastated with the impact of COVID, but now they've had a double whammy, as we've seen with the uncertainty of this state government in respect to issues such as commercial leasing. Still no, still no mandatory code implemented into uh, uh, regulation or legislation. Also, the roadblocks, the actual roadblocks, where at first, according to the Queensland roadmap, we thought that there would be an opening up in July. But no, the Premier goes out and says it could be September. And now today we're hearing it may even be later than that. What a disaster. What a one-woman disaster who is a roadblock to recovery in this state. And her name is Anastasia Palaszczuk, Premier of Queensland. I believe, I believe people understand significantly what it means to address the health concerns in this state. But they also understand, they also understand with an incompetent Labor government that doesn't even take ownership for the $92 billion worth of debt, they've got the wrong mob in the driving seat in Queensland. I want to address that issue of the small business grants. And as my colleague, the member for Glasshouse said, this is something we called for with my leader, Deb Freckleton, in April, over a month ago, because Queensland was the only state that didn't have grants for small businesses in the COVID environment, only state. So this is one little glimmer of, of light, and we're pleased to say that we were out there advocating, fighting for it, and had put this forward when the government said, no, no, they weren't going to do that. They thought payroll was going to solve the majority of problems. But as we know, the majority of small businesses don't pay payroll. And also the, the Q Rider loan debacle that's been so badly mismanaged by this government, promising people something and then closing the doors. There's so much more I could talk about, but the roadblock itself, I've had so many calls from devastated Members' time has expired. Thank you, Member for Marie